A shift is coming to the mid-range smartphone world in 2026, and it might change everything you thought you knew about performance, cameras, and design. Two phones, the Galaxy A37 and Galaxy A57, are quietly gearing up to bring flagship, level power, stunning displays, and software support that could last seven years, all without demanding a premium price. And the leaks we've just uncovered hint at some jaw-dropping secrets that could make Samsung's next mid-range offerings unforgettable. Welcome back viewers, Sam here like share and subscribe for more. Samsung's mid-range lineup has already made big strides this year with the Galaxy A36 and A56, but their successors are shaping up to be even more impressive. Leaks are starting to reveal performance upgrades, camera secrets, and design tweaks that might just put these phones ahead of the competition. And yes, some of these features could surprise even diehard Samsung fans. Let's start with performance. The Galaxy A57 is rumored to pack the Exynos 1680 chipset with up to 12GB of RAM, essentially giving you flagship level speed and multitasking capabilities in a mid-range shell. The A37 while a step below won't disappoint either. With the Exynos 1480 and 8GB of RAM, everyday apps, scrolling, and multitasking should feel buttery smooth. Samsung seems committed to delivering power without compromise, and the benchmarks, once leaked, could send ripples through the mid-range segment. Design and display aren't being left behind either. Both phones are expected to feature 6, 7-inch OLED screens, FFHD Plus resolution, and a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Combine that with metal frames and glass backs, and Samsung is clearly aiming to give mid-range buyers a premium feel. Durability isn't an afterthought either, expect IP68 dust and water resistance, meaning these phones can survive a spill or a rainstorm without flinching. Now, Here's where things get particularly exciting the cameras. Both the A37 and A57 could adopt the flagship grade 50MP Sony IMX906 main sensor, a significant upgrade over the A36. The difference is more than just numbers. This larger sensor means brighter night shots, less motion blur, and sharper detail, especially in tricky lighting. The A57 steps ahead with a 30MP ultrawide lens compared to the A37's 8MP, making landscape shots crisper and wider. Both phones retain a 5 alternate battery with 4 feet Delfast charging, so long shooting sessions or heavy gaming won't leave you scrambling for a charger. Digging deeper into the leaks, the A57's rumored camera setup includes the 50MP main sensor, a 13MP ultrawide and a 5MP macro lens, paired with a Tuam P front shooter. While not revolutionary compared to the A56, subtle improvements like sensor size and low, light optimization could make the difference between a good photo and a breathtaking one. The A37 mirrors the main camera but keeps secondary sensors simpler 8MP ultra-wide 5MP macro and 12MP selfie camera. Even so, it's a massive upgrade over the A36 and could redefine what mid-range photography looks like in 2026. Software-wise, Samsung continues to surprise. Both phones are expected to ship with Android 16 and One UI 8.0 or 8.5 along with a potential 7-year update plan. That means security patches, OS upgrades, and ongoing camera optimizations for years, something almost unheard of in the mid-range segment. The combination of long-term support, premium build, and strong hardware could make these phones an unbeatable value proposition. As for release timing, reports suggest a February 2026 launch, slightly earlier than last year's rollout. While the designs aren't a radical departure, the emphasis seems to be on meaningful upgrades that improve user experience across performance, photography, and battery life. Samsung seems to be quietly perfecting the mid-range formula, and if these leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A37 and A57 could set a new benchmark. It's also worth noting that these improvements are happening while competitors like Realme, Xiaomi, and Nothing are racing to push telephoto lenses and AI photography tricks. Samsung's approach is subtler but strategic better sensors, smoother displays, longer updates, and a build that feels premium without the price tag. For fans who want reliability, performance, and long-term support, this could be a game changer. And here's a little cliffhanger for you. Some rumors hint that Samsung might even include software tweaks exclusive to these models that improve low light photography and battery optimization beyond the hardware specs.
If true, these could give the A37 and A57 an edge no one is expecting. So, mid-range lovers, the question is no longer whether you can get flagship features in a non-flagship phone, it's which one of these will become the new standard for 2026. I want to hear your thoughts are you leaning toward the A37, the A57, or waiting to see the first real, world tests? Drop your predictions in the comments below, and if you've spotted any extra leaks, share those too. Let's make this discussion as epic as the phones themselves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you never miss insider updates, leaks, and hands on info from the world of tech. These mid range monsters might just shake up 2026 more than anyone expected. Stay tuned because we'll be covering every twist, spec reveal, and unexpected feature as soon as it drops.